everybody and welcome back to our virtual pottery. This is Sarah from the Taylor Art Studio and today we're going to make fruit coasters. The supplies you're going to need today are clay, a rolling pin, a sh sheet of foam, the craft foam or a cereal box, a circle stencil, a knife, paint brushes, white underglazer slip, and green, yellow, and orange glaze or underglaze and a clear glaze. So right now I'm just kind of scribbling out on a piece of paper so I make sure I know how to draw a fruit. So this is the craft foam and what I'm going to do is cut out where I want the clay to remain raised. So I'm going to cut out the circle and then I'm, I'm going to remove the pieces, the triangular pieces where the fruit would be the actual pulp. So I'm going to cut that out. The foam is super annoying to cut, but the great thing about this craft foam is that you'll be able to use it over and over again, where if you use cardboard from a cereal box or something like that, um, it can eventually get warped and um, tear and rip and kind of disintegrate if it keeps getting wet. So. So there's that foam piece down in the corner. Sorry the video is all shaking because I'm slapping out the slab. Um, I'm using these square dowel rods to make sure my slab is even, um, but you don't need to use these. It just kind of helps a little bit. But if you don't have anything like that, you can just use the rolling pin and just make sure you get, get it even. So I'm using a lid from, I think it's, what it was, some sort of dip or something. Um, these lids are great for circle stencils. Uh, this first one, I cut out the circle first and I put the foam on it and then used the rolling pin to roll it in. And then I used that little pointy knife thing to peel it, peel the foam off of the piece of clay. I did realize later that it was, uh, it worked out much better if I rolled the foam into the clay and then cut the circle out. Um, so here I'm just painting on white slip. You can use white underglaze as well, but you want to keep that, you're going to keep that naked basically without any glaze on it so that it can absorb some of the moisture if you're using it as a coaster. So here we are. I'm, I rolled the foam into the clay first and then I cut the circle out and it comes out a lot cleaner. I'm just trimming that up on the edges. I'm cleaning it up, clean up the underneath. Okay, so all three of these I've painted with white slip. Now I'm going to paint with the glazes. So these are um, Blick glazes. You can paint them onto leather hard clay or bisqued pieces. Um, I like this glaze a lot. We use it with the kids because it is true to the color. Um, it's opaque. Uh, you can't see through it at all, so it's very it's a very solid colored glaze, um, and it is true to color. It can go to um, cone 04, or I've done it up to cone 6, and it was fine, so. And Blick is a local store, a local art supply store, so you can, I'm pretty sure you can order them online and go pick them up. So here I'm using the Sherbert colored Blick glaze and I'm painting where all the pulp would be where all the fruit would be and then I'm gonna paint the edge there and I let them dry and then I'll flip them over and I'm going to paint the bottom too I'm painting the yellow this yellow glaze is actually called lemon So with these glazes too, it suggests on the bottle to paint two to three coats. 
but I've got a pretty good painting, you know, using the paintbrush technique that I can kind of glop it on there. So hopefully I won't have to put several layers. I can just um, go into it once and glop it up on there, then it'll be fine. Okay, so here we go. Yes, I am painting the bottom uh, because I'm going to stilt to these in the kiln later. I was talking to Miss Rhonda yesterday about coasters and she had suggested, because my thing with clay coasters and glass coasters is that the moisture always ends up on the table anyways. <clears throat> and she suggested that you leave the, the, fr the side that goes up, uh, you leave that unglazed so that it absorbs moisture and then you glaze the bottom and it helps keep it in there. So this is the image that I found on Pinterest. Um, it's from a store in Savannah, these little fruit coasters. So I'll post a picture later when these are, when I get these fired and show you guys the final product, but I'm super excited about these. They're really cute and they're super simple. So that's all for this video today and I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying inspired.